a uh, quick recap. Uh, today, the Supreme Court issued a ruling that restricts the EPA's ability to regulate uh, carbon emissions uh, from power plants. And so there's still a lot of debate over how far that's going to extend. Um, but at, it appears as though right now the EPA is going to be a lot more limited in its scope with the Supreme Court saying that a lot of this should be in the hands of Congress and it's going to be up to Congress to, to make these laws. So That's great news. Act of cow? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, that's, the whole thing is an act of cow, I guess. But it, it's not. The act of cow is a dramatic... Uh, thing for the television show. But, Filibuster's not act of cow? Uh, uh, wow. That's big thinking. <laughs> uh, so everybody, what we got to do is pass better laws. Uh, and, you know, the Supreme Court does what the law says, so we just have to pass laws that are more um, direct, more specific, more in everybody's best interest. And so uh, the Environmental Protection Agency was created during the Nixon administration not known for his raving, progressive, <laughs> bleeding heart, liberal point of view, but uh, uh, that was a long time ago. And so that was using the Environmental Protection Agency to control greenhouse gases was something that worked legally. But now, I mean, we can wring our hands and run in circles screaming, but now we just got to pass better laws. So everybody, people say to me, Bill, Nye, Science guy, <laughs> what can I do about climate change? And to be sure, recycling the bottles, very, don't throw the plastic away, at least let's start there. All right. And then compost your compostable things. But if you want to do one thing about climate change, it's vote. Everybody, please vote. And if you're a kid, you're a kid and you can't vote yet, make sure your parents vote, hassle them. Be, you know, a kid. <laughs> no, if you want parent, if you want grown-ups to recycle bottles, get kids excited about recycling, then they become insufferable, as you may know. <laughs> so if they, and then take the environment into account when you vote. Don't just vote for, with respect, dumb stuff. Uh, vote for better laws to control climate change. And the Supreme Court, you know, it's a controversial bunch right now. And you've been looking at this whole issue for quite some time, before most, I would, I would argue. Uh, when you look to the future, you optimistic? Or, I yes. Mean, your show is the end is nigh. So, yeah, well, so here's, what, here's an interesting thing. Uh, <laughs> when things are going well in the world, we all go to watch romantic comedies and comedies and comedy shows. Oh, it's really fun. But when things uh, are not going well like when there's a pandemic. Everybody rents the movie Contagion. <laughs> Outbreak, like, yeah. <laughs> we, no, it's this weird thing. It's surprising human, or maybe surprising in a way. Uh, when things are going badly, then people watch disaster movies. And so disaster movies have been around forever, or as long as there have been movies. And so we've made six one-hour disaster movies. That's what this The End is Nigh is about. So uh, the first episode is climate, is, no, not explicitly climate change, but it's climate change. And uh, I, it looks like I get killed. At the end of the first half hour in all six episodes, I get killed. You, I mean, you get killed. It looks very... Yeah, you're pulling killed. a kinny. But then in the second half hour, if we, if we just did these things, put these systems in place, everything would be great. That's the second half hour. So Because there's some natural disasters you can't control. Mm -hmm. If the Pacific tectonic plate does this, uh, there are going to be tsunamis. So let's prepare for it. You know, I can tell you from personal experience, in an earthquake, even if you have 10 seconds, uh, that's a lot. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.